Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will talk about the last two phases of the nursing process, that is implementation and evaluation. Implementation is the step which involves action or doing and the actual carrying out of nursing interventions outlined in the care plan. The skills required are the cognitive, psychomotor and interpersonal. Cognitive skills are knowing and understanding essential information, for example, basic sciences, nursing procedures and their underlying rationale before caring for the clients and critical thinking is a type of intellectual skill for making quick decision and swift action. Psychomotor or the technical skill is the skill which is required to carry out any nursing procedures. Technical skills such as changing a sterile dressing, administration of an injection requires safe and competent performance. Interpersonal skills involve believing, behaving and relating to others. Solid communication techniques and the client encounters that promote the development of a trusting relationship or a rapport are interpersonal skills. The steps of implementation are putting the nursing care plan into action, continuing the collection of data, communicating care with the health team members and documenting care. The last phase of the nursing process is that of evaluation and evaluation of nursing care is effectiveness of assessing, diagnosing, planning and implementing. The steps of evaluation are analyzing the client's responses, identifying the factors contributing to success or failure and planning for future care. The sources for evaluation are the client the, who is a primary source or the family also could be helpful in determining if the care was effective. The second source is could be the team conference wherein a conference is helpful not only to plan nursing care but also to evaluate the effectiveness of care and design a discharge plan. And the third source of evaluation could be community health agencies. Here, it, it's an, another way of evaluating outcome of care and it is through the contact of healthcare providers who are in contact with the client after they leave your facility, such as care providers, the care providers which may include community health nurses, school health nurse, social workers or receptionists and analyzing the client's response can be done by previously established goals and outcomes of the nursing care uh, nursing care plan that becomes the standard criteria i can quote an example here um, if a man uh, if you are taking care of a patient um, who is diagnosed with pneumonia so the nursing diagnosis could be stated as ineffective airway clearance related to physiological effects of pneumonia as evidenced by increased sputum, cough and abnormal breath sounds. So in the above case, a man with pneumonia describes resolution of fever, decreased use of accessory muscles and the client also reports that his shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing were decreasing. Changes in the color of the sputum, lungs clearing on auscultation and ability to increase the activity level without the use of oxygen provides evidence that the goal identified on the nursing care plan were met. So during evaluation, which is the last step of the nursing process, the nurse and the client jointly measure how well the client has achieved the goals specified in the care plan. Any factors that contributed to the client's success or failure are identified and the plan of care is revised as necessary. The client's responses to the plan of care determines whether the plan continues as it is, is modified or is ended. So finally, to conclude, evaluation of nursing care is the effectiveness of assessing, 
diagnosing, planning and implementing and in evaluating whether you have got a successful response to goals or interventions. So you have to check whether it is yes or no. If no, modify the goals or the interventions and rewrite the care plan. If it is yes, the goals or the interventions were successful and can be removed from an update care plan. And you identify the factors which are contributing to the success or failure. And again, you need to have a future care planning which can be included in a replanning and you again start the process with reassessment and continue with the nursing phase different phases of the nursing process so thank you if you have any more questions or queries about the nursing process feel free to comment below